Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you real quick with just um, a little cooking video. Nothing too fancy, but I want to show you the deal that I got or my husband and I got this past weekend. So um, our local grocery store, Cub Foods, as well as our local Hy-Vee, they've been now starting to sell meat that's already seasoned. So as you can see, this is some quarter pieces, some chicken quarter pieces, and they're already seasoned with some barbecue seasoning. And this is what it says, it says chicken leg quarters, uh, barbecue pepper medley family pack. Look how much we pay for them, guys. A dollar seventy-two for this one. And a dollar seventy-eight for that one. Um, they had some other ones that were only like two dollars and something, but we found these, and so of course we jumped on these. Um, so what I plan to do is I'm just going to put them in this little baking dish right here, and I'm going to bake them um, as opposed to putting them on the grill. Uh, one thing I did did notice is that um, our when you grill this type of meat with these type of seasons, they burn very easily. So as opposed to burning the chicken, I'm going to bake the chicken. And then once I am done, I'm going to add, I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. So I got this Berman's barbecue sauce, Kansas City style from Aldi's. And yeah, and I think I only paid like $2 or something for this. So as you can see, very inexpensive meal. I plan to bake this chicken, add the barbecue sauce, and then um, serve it with a salad and call it a day. So just stay tuned. So as you can see, I got all four pieces in the pan, perfect size. Um, I do have some Memphis style barbecue seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of that to my chicken just a little bit now granted I know they've already been seasoned with a little bit of something but you know you gotta doctor up stuff everybody don't cook like how you do so that's what I'm doing right now um, I also want to add a little bit of garlic just because I like garlic <laughs> so I'm just gonna add just a little bit and I'm just adding to the top of it just the top and then I have some Tony's liquid smoke and I only have a little bit and I just want to give it that little bit of a smoke taste oops put a little too much there <laughs> but just a little bit of smoke taste just to um, give it that barbecue type of taste so and I'm almost out as you can see I'm barely able to get anything out of there but that's okay I just want to give it just a little bit so now I'm going to cover it throw it in the oven for about an hour and then add the barbecue sauce okay everybody so while I'm sitting here waiting for my chicken to finish baking I did want to uh, share a dessert that I'm making um, this dessert is actually for a potluck at my job and uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it. So as you can see, I have a yellow cake mix. I also have some peaches. I have two cans here of peaches, as you can see there. And so what I'm going to make is a peach dump cake. So I'm just going to show you how I make it. Um, there's recipes online, on Pinterest probably YouTube as well but this is how boss lady makes it so first thing is I'm going to open my peaches because basically you just take everything and dump it in the pan so here's the first container of peaches and because they are halves and not quarter pieces I am going to cut them so that they can be more of a quarter piece just so we have a little more peaches in our uh, cake here. I guess you could call it a cake. This is actually the easy version of a uh, peach cobbler. And I started making this, what, about a year ago, I guess, when I was wanting to have um, some peach cobbler. My sister. She is the peach cobbler queen of the family, and I was missing her. I was wanting some peach cobbler, and so 
I said, okay, I got to figure out a way I can make this, but the quick way, because I didn't have time to be doing all the other nonsense. So, that's one can. As you can see, I cut it up and see how much is in there. Um, now, this next one, I'm not going to have all of the syrup in there, so I'm going to drain a little bit in my sink, which is right behind you, because I don't want too much syrup. And then pour those guys in. And then I'm going to do the same thing as far as cutting them. Just so I can make sure there's enough to go around for the peach dump cake. So online you'll find it say peach dump cake or fruit dump cake. Because you can do peaches, you can do apples, you can do cherry. I know um, a person has done a cherry dump cake. I'm not a cherry person. So, and before you ask, yes, my hands are clean. I've been washing dishes and washing my hands. So, yes, my hands are clean while I'm sitting here touching all these peaches. Um, this is, like I said, for a potluck at work. And um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I got enough peaches all over the place here. And so... Now, the easy, easy, quick version of this is dump the peaches in, dump the cake mix on, throw some butter on it, and cook it for 30 minutes. I don't do that. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add some cinnamon sugar. And this I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So, I'm just going to mix it, or not mix it, but just sprinkle it on. You know, give it a little bit of flavor, a little sweetness. And I'm eyeballing it. I'm not. Um, I'm not measuring it. So if you want to know well, how much did you put on there, you'll have to find the recipe online. The next thing I'm going to add is. Let me make sure this is open. I'm going to add some nutmeg. And I'm gonna sprinkle that on. Not a whole lot, but just enough to give it a little bit of sweetness again. And then my. Let me see what's this. My secret ingredient for this <laughs> is pumpkin pie spice. Now, I know if you've been watching me a while, you know I really don't like pumpkin spice, but I do use it from time to time for things like this. So, there we go. And because my cinnamon sugar already has cinnamon in it, I'm not going to add more cinnamon to this. You could if you didn't have the cinnamon sugar mix. Now I'm going to open up my cake mix. And I'm just going to pour it over the top of the peaches. Like this. And I try to do my edges first before I do the middle. Just so that the middle is not fully compacted. But you use the entire cake mix. And now, I know the one recipe that I followed is asked you to do like a quarter, I think it's a quarter of uh, butter, and just cut it in like little packs, but that's not how I like to do mine. And I try to evenly distribute. So, and you can use a spoon, you can use a knife. Um, I just have the knife right here. You can use a spatula. But I just don't want it to be like, you know, really thick in one spot and thin in another. So I just try to smooth it out as best I can. And then what I do is um, I take a stick of butter and I actually melt it down. And then I just drizzle it over the top of the cake. Now, is this cake healthy? Probably not. <laughs> All that butter. But it's good. So, and that's what I do. Now, you can just take a stick and just cut, the, you know, little packs and stuff. I tried that before. I didn't like it. So, I like melting my butter down. So now I'm going to um, stick it in the oven in just a minute. I have my chicken still cooking 
has about four minutes. Um, I actually have the oven turned up to 375. I'm going to drop the oven down to 350 in the next four minutes and stick my cake in. Let my cake cook for 30 minutes and then I'll show you uh, the end result of the cake. <laughs> I won't cut it though because it's for tomorrow. Um, and then we'll just continue on with the video. So here's the chicken. I just pulled it out. I'm getting ready to add my barbecue sauce. If you hear that noise in the background, um, that's actually my eggs. I'm boiling some eggs for my salad. <clears throat> but I'm going to open up my barbecue sauce here and add that to the top of the chicken. And I'll just probably stick it back in the oven for about 15-20 mm, minutes. Actually, I'm going to since I already stuck my cake inside, I want to make sure that I have my timer on for that. So, I have my timer set for the cake. And then, I'm opening up the barbecue sauce. As you can hear the little crackling of the paper. <clears throat> but now, you'll be able to see what the chicken looks like. It's all nice and juicy. So now I'm just going to, once again, add in this Berman's Kansas City uh, barbecue sauce and just add it over the top. And I want to make sure that each one gets some barbecue sauce on it before I, you know, it and put it in the actual pan. I don't want it to burn. And I'm actually going to stick this in the oven with the top off. Take the foil off of the chicken. And that's it. So right now, like I said, I'm boiling some eggs because they're almost done. And I'm going to chop those up for a salad. And we'll have barbecue chicken. We will have salad and call it a day. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fix one plate. Um, because the family's ready to eat. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the chicken over here. And add it to the plate. And I like my sauce thick, so that is just perfect. Um, we are also having salad with the chicken. For the salad, I made, um, I had romaine lettuce as well as spinach leaves. Added in some eggs, as you can see here. So I'm just going to put a little bit on this plate. This plate is actually for Miss Peanut. And no, I'm not no chef, so I'm not going to be plating it all pretty. Just putting some salad on the plate. <laughs> and no, I didn't really mix it around. I guess I should have, but oh well. It's alright. My family loves salad, so. Add that on there. And I don't have any tomatoes in the salad because if you know me, you know I am allergic to tomatoes. And I also don't have cheese in there because Boss Man does not eat cheese. So, but this is Miss Peanut's plate, so I'm just sprinkling a little bit of cheese on top for her. And then Miss Peanut likes to have two different dressings on her salad so I'm gonna go ahead and add her dressing as well so I have some French and this is from Aldi's just add a little bit of French on there and then I'm also gonna add some ranch and I picked this up from the Dollar Tree and that family is dinner now the peach dump cake is actually still cooking and uh, I will have to just post a picture of it at the end 
because we are getting ready to have dinner. But I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, I am the boss lady, also known as Sharon. And I'm your hostess with the mostest. Um, I don't do many cooking videos, but every now and then I like to, you know, tickle my fancy. So, I'm in a fall mood. Today is the first day of fall. So, I decided to do something a little different. Um, like I said, I have a potluck tomorrow. So, that's what the peach dump cake is for. Just adding a little bit of festivities at work. So, once again, thank you all for watching. And I'll see everybody in a new video. Bye-bye.